Hey guys, welcome to RT Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to talk about the basics of Spring Framework. The framework is developed in 2003 by Rod Johnson. So it supports the Java Enterprise Edition applications and uh, it makes the development faster and easy. So this framework will be helpful for both beginners and experts. We can call Spring Framework as a framework of frameworks and uh, Spring is lightweight because it uses POJO class. Also, the framework of frameworks in the sense that it supports multiple frameworks. For example, struct, JSF, Hibernate. Using Spring, we can you know, use Hibernate concepts as well. So it supports more than 20 plus frameworks. So that's why we call it as framework of framework. So we can find a lot of the structures, uh, you know, to solve a particular solution. Now, uh, Spring, uh, this Spring framework has several modules, such as the inversion of control, the most important concept, and then aspect-oriented programming, BAO, data access object, context, object relational mapping, web MVC, and lot many modules were there. Okay, so we will discuss that one in this architecture diagram. So here you can see that um, data access layer is there and web MVC and then core containers are available in this. So Spring again uses JDBC for databases connection. ORM we have already discussed in the previous uh, playlist that is Hibernate. So object relational mapping is again supported in this. OXM is Object XML mapping, it takes care of XML mappings. JMS is Java messaging service, uh, which takes care of producing and consuming messages. Transactions is basically which supports uh, the implementation of special interfaces uh, and the transaction management. So WebSocket, again, we are using for the two-way communication, like client and server. Uh, then we have web which supports uh, all the web MVC means a uh, model view controller uh, can be implemented with the help of this uh, I mean in web applications servlet which takes care of uh, the you know uh, handling requests and responses we have portlet this portlet supports uh, the mirroring or we can call it as rendering uh, of you know feature we have aop that is aspect oriented programming uh, which means that dividing a business logic into different units means different aspects small units and then finally we will be joining all the aspects and then we'll be executing the project so that is this and similarly we have instrumentation which means that it supports the class uh, loader uh, I mean, which takes care of uh, these things, loading the required classes and all. And again, messaging, uh, there is a feature called uh, STOMP, that is Streaming Text Oriented Messaging Protocol. So, which is something like, uh, you know, if you want to send the messages between client and uh, server uh, through web sockets, then this sort of, uh, you know, feature is used, messaging fe uh, feature is used in that. Um, so the main four uh, core containers are Beans, Core, and Context, and SPL means uh, Spring Expression Language. So this Beans will take care of uh, the use Bean, and uh, I mean the object creation and all those things will be taken care of by this. Uh, means Bean Factory will be there, so it it uh, contains all the Beans. Okay, means it consists of all the Beans. Then there is core framework. Uh, this core module will take care of the most important things like uh, dependency injection and inversion of control. We have context. Uh, we have already uh, already discussed this one in uh, servlet config and servlet context, right? So we know what is context. That is the global information which can be kept in the application and it, which can be accessed anywhere uh, in the application, whole application. Fine. Uh, so, which means in this context, uh, we can access any objects any from anywhere within the application, right? 
and then we have discussed expression language in JSP. Fine. And here we have got a spring expression language, which means that uh, again, it is going to, you know, provide some additional uh, expression languages where uh, we can, you know, manipulate objects at runtime and a uh, few many, you know, I mean, a uh, few more features were available. So we will explore that one in the upcoming uh, session. All right. So, and then finally, we'll test the application. Um, so we don't require any server when we use Java application project. In case of web applications, then you require. Uh, so this is about the Spring architecture. And then uh, Spring has several advantages. When compared to Hibernate, uh, Spring is uh, more efficient. Uh, we, so we have a lot many predefined templates. Predefined templates are used for like, you know, exception handling and, uh, you know, a lot many things. So uh, loosely coupling means Spring mainly focuses on this, uh, means dependency injection we are going to use, which means that uh, the objects, I mean, the developer should not worry about the objects and the Spring framework will take care of creating the object and all, right? That is, we call it as inversion of control. So that feature will take care of creating objects and managing objects and mapping objects. So which means that uh, we don't want to create objects. So that's what loosely coupling means. And easy to test. Yes, of course, uh, we don't require any application server for Java applications in Spring. And uh, for uh, this is lightweight, um, fast development because we have a lot, lot many templates. Then it, it supports abstraction um and also uh, it prefer you know declarative support means that like formatting and validating and all these things were possible with this so th this is about spring and in the next video we'll talk about inversion of control and dependency injection we will implement uh, two types of dependency injection as well if you like the video hit the like button uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel stay tuned thank you and thanks for watching the video